Welcome back, everyone in the Carter file tonight. Former Liberal Premier Brian Tobin was back in the province today, delivering a million dollar check from BMO to the rooms to teach school kids about the province's sacrifices during the First World War. Well, the rooms called it a momentous day. Sacrifice was the theme. Tobin continued afterwards when he was asked about the tough situation facing the province and his own brush with hard times when he was Premier. When I was Premier of Newfoundland and Labrador, uh, it was a tough time. I know Dwight uh, Ball is going to be joining us in a little bit, so I wanted to tell him I know how it feels to come into office and discover that you have challenges to deal with. But you recall in the mid-1990s we had a, a deficit uh, to deal with and we spent most of our time in office doing things that weren't always popular uh, but were necessary. You know, the comment I would make is this. <clears throat> I think I know the history of Newfoundland and Labrador pretty well as a, as a former Premier. I think the people of the province need to know that no government in the history of this place, no Premier or Cabinet in the history of this place has ever faced a challenge anywhere near as large as this government's facing today. A $2 billion deficit. The total debt of the province is about $11 billion since the beginning of time. We're looking at a, at a debt on an annual basis that can double that number in the space of four or five years. This is a huge challenge, and I, and I think more than ever, people have to, you know, in the spirit of the Royal Newfoundland Regiment, we've got to close ranks a little bit. We've got to have each other's back in this province, and we've got to pull together rather than pull apart to get through this challenge. Hopefully four or five years down the road, the price of oil has recovered sufficiently, that revenues have improved, that we can march again, march forward positively. But in the interim, um, the government's going to need some, some understanding for the decisions that are coming, in my judgment. Do you have any advice for Mr. Dwight Ball stepping into this? Winston Churchill had a great quote, one that I think of when I think about the challenges here. And the quote was, it's better to be both consistent and right. But if you can't be consistent, be right. So do the right thing, even if it's inconsistent with what you want to do, what you said you would do, or what you promised to do. Do what you know is right. Because in I, the one thing I know, having lived through uh, a milder version of this, deep in their hearts, the people of the province know how big the challenge is. They know what the problems are, and they know pretty well what the solutions are. You won't surprise them by doing the right thing.